Welcome to episode one of an 89 Classic Mini Restoration. We've had this car quite a few years. It's actually my other half's car. Uh, we started the dismantling and assessing of the work quite a few months back. Really started the proper restoration work um, a few months ago, really. In between actual full-time work and doing other cars and shows and general life, we're trying to fit it in. We have got a deadline for it, which is October next year, but want a bit more time really than that the car itself is a lot worse than we thought it would be it's turned into something we thought was seals it had over seals on it um, front end and some repairs it's turned into a massive job a lot more costly and a lot more time has to go into us but it's we've opted to do it once and do it well and to the best we possibly can it is in a state now where it's had some panels put in it We've got to the point where they've done both flitch panels, both doorsteps, um, the actual hinge panel for the door, we've done that. We're now mocking up the boot floor. We're at the point where it's, we need to start aligning the subframe. So we're, while we wait for the main cockpit floor, which we're going to go heritage, um, the boot floor matches it as well as heritage. Obviously, eagle eye people among you will notice when I show you the pictures. It's obviously a, the boot floor comes as an MPI pressing, so we've got to do a few modifications to get it to get it right for the year of this car, which is not an issue. We'll, we'll sort that out. Um, so I thought I'd introduce you to the car. I'll show you around it and see the work that's already been done. The car, like I say, is in the full strip state and mounted to a, a rotisserie. It makes it a lot easier to work on. This is a long-term car. It's going to take as long as it's going to take, but we're gonna, we have, like I say, we have got a deadline set. Um, we're, we're going to go for it and try and do it. So between everything else, we're, we're going to try and get it done. Um, I'll show you around the car and you see see where we're at. Um, like I say, some of the panels have been put in already. Some are still waiting. Some we can't put on because we need to put other stuff in. But yeah, there. like I mentioned, we're waiting for the, the, the main floor from Heritage. Um, then we can line the boot floor and the subframe, get all the geometry all lined up before we really do any welding. The focus soon in... The near future is is to really get it on the floor off the spit with the bottom ends welded up so the next job is to tack the boot floor to the point that we can get the other floor in line everything up and then fully weld everything up right i'll show you around the car and see what you think Starting from the front, I do apologise about the light. We've done the flitch panel, uh, obviously with the hinge panel incorporated. That's all fully welded in, so that's that side done. Moving round, we've done the door step, the door post there. Sorry, obviously it's got some welds there that needs to be ground back. Complete new door step, all the way back. This is all heritage, so yeah, it should be should be a nice fit once the floor comes in. We've repaired the, the, the tow board there as it was quite corroded. Um, and we, have, we sort of left it sort of looking a little bit rough and ready at the moment until we get the floor in and we can ground back and make any alterations we need to make. Given the fact that we are putting a full floor in, we, we've we tried to keep as much as the original car as possible, albeit obviously you can notice that quite a bit of it isn't original. You know, naming the original car out there is what I say. The car's obviously fully braced. Uh, I've put some mounting points for the box sections here. And we pick up, we're picking up on the gear selector mounts there. Hopefully, will help me align the new floor. You can see there, the new boot floor is sort of slid into place with all the holes drilled along there, ready for the the spot welding. So that's the point we're at there with that. On the other side, it is much the same. We've got the door post in and the step. That's all completely solid. I wanted to do that before I cut anything out. And the other side's obviously had the tow board sorted. The car itself, like I say, is in a, a bit of a sorry state. I could just show you down here. We have where the subframe used to mount. It's, it's pretty bad. Um, before this car went away, it did actually have an MOT. And it's quite scary to think that, you know, this much stuff gets covered up. You can really see how far the cover seals come underneath. 
Now, I'm not slating cover seals. I'm not one of them that's going to be slating them. Absolutely fine to fit them. But please, please cut out the rubbish behind because that's what causes the issue, which has caused the whole problem in these floors. Um, the reason we've gone for the complete floor is probably from that flute there, it's probably the only bit of floor that hasn't got the slightest bit of corrosion in. So the way we've seen it is it's a complete new square floor. It's going to be a, a nice mounting point. It shouldn't need to ever be done again because it will be fully treated and um, stone chipped and you know etch prime before the stone chip goes on and then painted the body colour underneath. The car itself will be going night fire red. You can probably see the colour over there of what it was. Night fire red of a gloss black roof. So it's going to look really, really quite smart. Right, what I'll do is I'll flip the jig over and you can have a look. Right, so you join me now at the back of the car. Like I say, we've started to mock up the new heritage boot floor. We've put in some bolts that would where the where the soft frame's gonna bolt through to. We've what we've done is we've left the soft frame mounts in because they were they were fine, we've managed to save those, and hopefully that will go some way to being able to help to, to weld the, the the new floor in once we like I say we have the, the main floor. It's so nice to see some good old fresh fresh steel in this car because all the way along the boot floor here was all completely gone. All that was completely pitted. Um, it was gone in the corners up there. Basically you can see where, how bad the suffering mount is that side as well. Pretty much non-existent. Um, you can sort of see the general state of the floor. That's one side with the overseal off. I mean, yes, we've repaired it on the sidewalk. We had a similar issue with oversaws on that. But really with this car, it's just gone in so many places. It's a keeper. Um, so yeah, it's a case of just, like I said, do it once, do it right. You can see the amount of filler that is in the side of the car here. And the, yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's questionable to, to say the least. So yeah, we've opted for the, the heritage panel on here. Like I said, I have got to do the modification and I'll show you around here. Most of you that have done this panel will know these are it's obviously an MPI pressing, so you've got the bigger, you've got three fuel lines that go through there. So um the the the, the Mate 9 Mini that up you know I think it went up to the early well basically SPI when that came in, so it's a 92, then then they changed to, to putting to that, that hole in there now. Um obviously in the arches they're pretty solid to be fair. I had to cut out a piece there and I put that in. We drilled all the holes to plug weld the floor in. That's already, I think it's etch primed. Those panels we've got to replace. We've bought them already. Obviously waiting for the floor to go in and then we put them in. The screws you can see sticking up uh, are just a couple of tech screws I've got holding the bulkhead together to help with alignment. And I'm hoping it will give me a bit more of a chance to get it right. So yeah, we're gonna tack, tack the mounts in from, from the underside up in there. And uh, yeah, it's, that should help help hold the floor in its right place. It really does line up really nice all the way along. It's absolutely some way to say that Heritage, you know, are pretty much the best with the panels. Like I say, the only shame is that a lot of them are later MPI pressings. So you have got to modify a lot of the panels. Um, if you're willing to do it, it's what you're willing to do. So a lot of people leave it, and it's not a big issue. Like when we get the floor, the main floor, that will have a different pressing. It'll be an MPI pressing, but how much you care really it's going to be under the car um yeah so we're not too bothered by that you can go m, uh, m machine i'm not trying to pick up all these companies but m machine again you can get all the different pressings you uh, you can get like the band all the band ones and you can get the correct pressings for this car um for us though we, we just like the, the gauge of the steel with heritage i know i know a lot of the empire uh, the uh, m machine tooling is heritage and a lot of their panels that do come from there are still heritage but yeah, we're just going to go with the Heritage one just because, in my mind, the two mate together nicely. They're meant to be together nice, like, together with the original MPI car. So I'm hoping it's going to help when we come to, to put them all in together. Obviously, having this jig massively helped to assess the work. We didn't have it at the beginning, but it's only a homemade one. But, yeah, it, sh it, should, it should definitely help. There's various patches all over the car that need to be sorted. Like, you might have noticed that there. We're going to make a piece, probably from about here, put that in. 
Um, there's some repairs in the arches, which we're going to try and sort out. If not, we might have to replace that arch. The other arch is a lot better, but we might replace that arch. Um, yeah, so the car is having a whole back panel. You can see how much we've cut out. We, we were going to put one in here, but it's completely gone um, above the, just below the boot, the window area, which is very common place for a Mini. So again, it's one of them. It, my rule of thumb, if a panel needs three to four patches, it's got to go. So that's, what we, that's our train of thought with that. So yeah, this is a bit of an introduction for my first episode. I uh, hope you tune in. The next the next job will be me welding the uh, the tack in the boot floor in, like I mentioned, and then we're in case of waiting for our floor. But there's loads of other little repairs we can crack on with while, while we while we wait for that. So yeah, please tune in. There's, there's obviously you can see the state of the car. It does it does need quite a bit of work. So there'll be plenty of episodes on this. So please like and subscribe if you'd like to follow this build. This is the first of many builds that we have got coming. So we get this one done, uh, we get this painted and start assembling this. And then we've got another 89 Mini actually, which I won't disclose right yet what it is, but that is um, a little bit of a better shell, but it's, yeah, it's another, it's another job. So we get through this one. This is definitely by far the, the, the worst car I've ever tried to restore. But like I say, it is a keeper. It will be worth doing. Um, and yeah, please follow if, if you would like to, to see more.